Well, thanks for having us. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, this is cool. This is this is SoFi Stadium. I've never been here. You've been here once. Yeah, pretty amazing. Who'd you see here? Taylor Swift, Chargers, Broncos. There you um, go. Unfortunate, <laughs> unfortunate, uh, unfortunate game. I thought you saw the yeah. Taylor Swift. Are you a Chargers game? fan? Yeah. Me too. Really? So you have to come Still. back, yeah. Oh my God. In our office in San Diego, we had art commissioned by a very famous artist, and it was all Chargers stuff, right? Like amazing acrylic yeah. paintings. Um, and then they left San Diego. And now the art's worth nothing. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. And this artist Fool me is once. incredible. His grandfather had commissioned some of this art for, from from this artist about the Chargers for like $2,000 in 1982. Yeah. That was expensive. Yeah, that was a lot of money to pay for art back then. Yeah. It was like right. the Chargers Rams in the, or in the some like AFC conference type title yeah. thing. And really he designed cool. the tickets because back then it was, there was no Photoshop. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So in any event, that's our story with the Chargers. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. He made us some basketball art as well. We had like Kobe, Jordan, yeah. and LeBron yeah. in one painting. Yeah. yeah. It was that's awesome. stuff. But the reason why we're here at SoFi Stadium is to meet David Meltzer. Right on. Yeah. Well, I'm excited about what you guys are doing and yeah. supporting me and providing financing to companies. Uh, there's a lot of startup companies, people who have uh, a business that just needs to be fueled. Yeah. So they have revenue. They're just getting going, but they haven't really anticipated the capital demands when a company is growing and successful. And when I partnered with you two, it was a great opportunity, especially to for women and people of color that I really want to support um, that aren't given the opportunity, a quick bridge, uh, a little fuel injection that can take them to the next level. Uh, and I really think there's a huge opportunity. I run across thousands of companies that just need a, a hand up, not a handout. Yeah, it's it's a good point, right? It's the underbanked, it's the underserved community, and whether that's people of color, the Latino community, the black community, or you know, women-owned businesses, this is like a demographic just as a whole that kind of gets overlooked by the banking industry. You you mentioned specifically startups, but I think once people make it out of that startup phase, everyone says what you need is just good business advice, good business coaching. But in reality, right, like the coaching and the advice, that's not going to pay the employees. That's it's not going to make payroll. And it's not going to help them scale. Or buy inventory there you go. or hire extra employees or maybe just implement a new system like Lightspeed. There you go. Right. There's certain things that just generate an enormous amount or it could be ad spend. Yeah. Right. There's a lot of people that have created a vending machine and now they don't have any money to buy the candy. That's a hot yeah, industry right absolutely. now. That's it, right. It was Airbnbs. And, and you just and touched upon something. Machines. Now vending machines are huge, right? Yeah. Put them in a third party location, only costs five grand to buy one, but how are you gonna fill it, right? right? You get the leases, right? You secure them, but now it's time to scale. Otherwise, some company that has cheap access to capital, right? That's larger, a larger entity, right? They're gonna muscle you out, right? They're gonna muscle you out of the lobby. And here's another space, you know, when you're dealing with angel investors and here you have a successful, business, you're starting to generate revenue. And a lot of sharks out there want to take, now that you got it going yeah. and they know that they've mitigated their risk, they want to take a ton of equity for a very little amount of finance, up to $250,000. They may take 50% of your business because We've you have a show. choice. We've seen the show. Right. <laughs> is that, is that yeah. Shark Tank? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but not even in the Dave show Meltzer in real life. on Shark Tank. Yeah. Well, we got an elevator pitch, two minute drill in office hours, right? So right. we do things a little bit different. We give prizes and money away for people for being successful and understanding. But I think there's a business decision when you are in a position that you're capable of taking in equity financing, that you should look at debt financing before because you're probably in a position to qualify number one and two, you're definitely better off in the long run to have a higher valuation and to keep control, keep control and ownership in your own company. What was that? You know, Dan Fleischman sent us um, someone a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, because you brought up this is elevator pitch, yeah. right? Yeah. He which has is, elevator uh, nights. Which right. Is an, right. Elevator nights, which yeah. is an incredible platform uh, for young entrepreneurs to access capital they don't have otherwise, they couldn't get otherwise. And so we actually got a great customer called Little Bucks, right? This is a consumer product that you can find in Target. Yeah. And she had a problem to solve, 
right? So her problem was that she's not going to get paid for just a few weeks, right? And she was looking for an invoice to get paid for half a million dollars. But she wanted to understand, how do I operate my business? How do I get the working capital to survive that 16 days? And she came to Cardiff, right? She came to Elevator Funding, yeah. right? To get those much needed funds. It's so important. There's so and many we delivered. Yeah, there's so many opportunities to have that type of support. She was funded in something like four hours. Yeah, I mean, what business owners need is they need quick and affordable access to capital, right? And you have that type of community. You have that type of, um, you've got the megaphone, right? To all yeah. these businesses across America. Um, and it also has to do with trust, right? And I think the investment that we make uh, in that time, so many people want to help, but they don't have time. And one of the issues that you solve for me is that I have a great demand of companies that would like my help. And now I have the ability to help people in the timing and vetting them appropriately. Because remember, giving someone money is also a way to build credibility besides credit. And in yeah. the future, that's a very valuable thing that, you know, I was able to secure this receivables funding or some sort of bridge financing or whatever it is that you're capable of doing. Well, that's not only allowing you to hold on to your equity, but it gives you a future valuation that's higher and more credibility that an organization from the backing of Meltzer Funding and Carter Financial, who's doing the vetting and securing the financing, that credibility can go a long way with the next ask that you have, whether it's through our funding or somebody else. Yeah. 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 And, you know, the U.S. banking system has abandoned small businesses over the last 30 years. Mm -hmm. Right. If you were a small business in the 80s or 90s, you'd go to your local bank and ask for a loan. And today that's essentially impossible because of all the red tape that was created during the financial crisis. And so small businesses have to come to companies like Square, right? Nobody could imagine that Square yeah. became the largest lender to small businesses in the U.S. Is this a in paid 2020. Is this a paid commercial for Square? Absolutely. Can we we're here That's to okay. support. Square, to Square support. is a sponsor of our uh, two minute drill show. And oh, okay, perfect. Host the whole episode. Yeah, we share some of that Square money. <laughs> yeah, we, we love our competitors, yeah. but you have your audience, and so you want to drive them to Meltzer Funding and not to Square Capital. Correct. Yeah. There's there's no fear of scarcity, right? There's enough no. meat on the bone for everyone. The one point that I, I'd like to get across, and it's kind of one of these like gotcha statements before we finish, because I know we have to wrap up, would be how cool would it be for some of these businesses that are securing funding through Meltzer Funding, right, to, to qualify for maybe a free 15-minute introductory coaching session? With no. You? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sounds stupid. No, it sounds amazing. What do you think, Dave? I love that idea. Right so on. be able to, I <laughs> would love to give guidance uh, to anyone that, even if they're not looking for funding, uh, but is interested in the options and opportunities that are given by Meltzer Funding, to understand what the critical business issues are and to really leverage the one thing that I want to leverage in my career, which is, you know, 35 years of dummy tax and, I paid a lot of dummy tax and why should you and why should they? And so I'd be more than happy to give a free 15 minute consultation for anyone that's looking for some sort of capital or financing, especially small businesses, especially minorities or people of color and especially women, which to me uh, always have been one of the greatest aspects of my success Absolutely. in my career is yeah. to pay back to those people that made me who I am. And with the business partners I've had, people like Warren Moon have really cut through uh, the barriers of color and then of course, having a single mom, uh, there's a special place in my heart. And speaking, one of the things that motivated and inspired me is in 1976, when my mom was rendered a single mom with six kids, she could not apply for even a credit card as a woman. As a woman. And, and you needed a man. You needed a man. In 1976. That was Saudi Arabia. I think it's true, right? And we can end on this point, but it's about gratitude, right? Like we provide capital, but the truth is, right, everybody sells something in this world, right? That's what makes the world go round, right? And we honestly, like after having done this for 20 years, I think, you know, the inspirational stories we hear about somebody who borrows from us or even doesn't, they kick the tires, they learn about the products and services that we offer, 
and then they go on to do bigger and better things, and then we reconnect with them later in life, I, you know, that feels good. And I think like, you know, if you can do something in life, right, where, you know, where both parties are benefiting, right, that's a good product, that's a good service. And I think you're the type of person to sort of get the word out in the appropriate way to the right community. So we, we're, we're very thankful for you. Well, as you guys know, I'm looking at building a community, a neighborhood of people that want to help each other and know people that can help each other. So yeah. Meltzer funding a lot with you too. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. And it really works because if you have that community, uh, they will be a community that buys from each other and sell for each other and nothing for a lifetime. And nothing will help you more as a small business or as a big business than having that type of community, which we see all the time. And I can't think of more credible people that are aligned with my mission than you two. And I appreciate you helping the backbone of Meltzer Funding. So if anyone's out there that needs help, uh, just some advice, like I said, I'm more than happy to have a 15 minute call and give you different options, opportunities and touches of favor that I know of in a credible way that builds your credit. Meltzer Funding, thank you both. I just enjoy Thanks for having, having you here and we're gonna do thank a lot of good. Us. Cool, awesome, awesome, cool.